like you know you have three boyfriends and uh, this is how they're like and how will you choose them wow. Hi, this is Hazrat Idros and welcome back to our Creative Fridays vlog series And today we have a special guest, alright, she's somebody, I call him my Sifu Because I attended his training before and I just enjoyed myself So today, he's my invited guest um, He is a keynote speaker, a corporate trainer, teacher accounting in a very creative way He's also the licensed trainer with Bank Code Sales Training, alright, and he is also the founder of Vision One Consulting. Not to forget, he is an adjunct professor in NUS. So without much further ado, this is James Leong. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, thank you, James. Thank you for coming to Hi. this uh, Creative Friday program. Yes. And uh, we want to hear from you. All right. Uh, what's your take about creativity? What is creativity to you? Uh, what creativity is to me is that it is not just about being able to perhaps uh, create something uh, beautiful, create something aesthetic, but really about how you apply it on a day-to-day -day basis mm. to solve problems in a creative way. For example, to be able to simplify processes, for example, uh, to be able to spend less time doing something or just an elegant solution to a difficult problem. So those are applications of creativity in my uh, perspective. And uh, probably my second question would be, if you could share with the audience, what were the uh, one or two challenges you face and how do you solve it creatively? One example of how I use creativity mm -hmm. to solve problems would be, as you know, I teach and train accounting. Mm. Accounting is one of the most difficult subjects that yet a lot of people will find in learning because it's complicated and some say very dry and it's hard yeah. to learn. So that is a problem and the way I uh, figure out how to solve it creatively is to use a creative training techniques. Mm. Yeah. Think literally think outside of the usual mode where people will learn accounting. Uh -huh. And so no boring about PowerPoints, but instead I have uh, developed a set of tools uh, to match with the wow. way people learn. And that is through the use of uh, pictures and images and colors. Uh -huh. So in fact, you can learn accounting out of this box here <laughs> with all these uh, colorful wow. uh, concept cards. and. Uh, well, the result is people find it really fun and they enjoy the learning process and I'm able to teach so much more in mm -hmm. the same uh, time that I am given because it accelerates the entire learning process. It shortens mm. the learning curve for a lot of people. It helps them to retain the information. So mm. it is a game changer. Well, yes. If you could share with us um, one or two methods that you can use accounting using this guide. Uh, well, essentially what uh, we do here is to uh, illust illustrate concepts mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. show it in a very pictorial fashion mm -hmm, using colors mm -hmm. and okay. linking it back to the real world. So we use a lot ah. of analogies, we use a lot of metaphors. So those are the things that people can relate to on a day-to-day yes. -day basis. Correct, correct. Because yes. our brain are all hardwired with connections. We exactly. connect things, metaphors easily, right? Exactly. So this help to solve all those That's problems. That's correct. So uh, another way of break breaking down very something very complex into mm -hmm. something very simple, mm -hmm. so I could teach uh, cash flow statements uh, using analogies like you know you have three boyfriends and they are uh, this is how they're like and how will you choose them wow so something that people can relate on a day-to-day -day basis is fun but at the same time it links back to something that uh, is technical in the accounting uh, sphere okay so before we end uh, this short session together probably could share with the audience um, what we want or two tips so that people can embrace and uh, have the creativity culture in them one tip here is that if you are doing something for the first time uh, what would really be helpful is to do a lot of research mm. because once you get a lot of research you will have a lot of data points mm. once you've got a data point then allow it to simmer for a little while summarize it, map it up, but then take a break away from those uh, data that you have accumulated okay. and let the brain process it. Uh, go into a relaxation space, but when you are relaxed, maybe you could go for a walk, a jog, or mm -hmm. simply just cooking, or just doing some household chores. When you are relaxed, the ideas will begin to synthesize. Ah. So allow that creativity process to simmer. So it's not something that you will want to force yourself, oh, I must be creative, but it's really allowing the process to happen. Ah. But first get the input 
before that. Ah, so once you relax, then all these ideas will suddenly appear from nowhere. That is correct. Ah, yes. wow, this is a very mm-hmm. interesting sh- uh, sharing of people can actually apply. Yeah. So, um, James, thank you very much for this wonderful sharing and we thank hope you. that this benefits um, the people out there and uh, we wish you all the best um, to in your business as well, alright? Thank you, thank okay, you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Alright, so before we end, probably for those out there, if you have any comments, just leave your comments out here and we will get back to you. So with that, Hazrat Idros and James, Creative Fridays. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you.